Hey then guys, we're back to the next video. This time we've got something very special in here. Big thank you to Noctua. We have got the brand new Noctua NHD15 Gen 2 LBC CPU cooler. Let's see if this is the king and if we shall bow to the king. Okay then, so this particular one is brand new. This is from Noctua. This is the NHD15 G2 LBC. This is the next generation D-Type Premium CPU cooler. Now, let's have a look what's inside. Now, it hasn't long come, and I am looking forward to actually seeing it with you. Now, in terms of the accessory box, of course, it's got a lot of accessories. From what I can see, ooh, ooh, a screwdriver. Now, of course, this is the manual by here for how to mount it on AMD and Intel. You get a variety of different types of silencers and also a fan splitter by here. You also get the Noctua thermal paste. You get a screwdriver, you get a case badge, and then you get this. Now this, I've actually made a video about. This is very good for AM5. And of course then you get this beer. These are the washers. You get Intel, AMD brackets, and then of course... You know, there's the mounting for the new standoff or the new mounting for AM4 and AM5. It's so, yeah, and you also get the cleaning wipes, and that's pretty much it for the overall accessories. So, let's take a look at the cooler itself, shall we? Okay. And there it is. Now, a lot of people would say they don't like the overall colour scheme, but... What I will tell you is I was one of them and oh, 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 oh my word, look at that, oh, oh my, this is beauty, look at the size of that coal plate, that's huge, this is beautiful. Now the overall specifications for this, it does have he eight heat pipes, eight. So this will dissipate a lot more heat from the CPU. Now, of course, it is a 140 variant, so it does have a 140 in the middle and on the top. And it is beautiful. I love this overall aesthetic. Just look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I will be reviewing this, but only with AM5. And we will see what it actually performs like. So make sure you continue to watch for the overall review. Okay, so this is the NHD15 Gen 2 LBC cooler. This is a 50% fan speed. Barely audible. This is 100% fan speed. It's louder, but not that much. Okay, so when it comes to the overall benchmarks, now I've done my normal four benchmarks because they hit the CPU differently from each other. So... Cinebench R23, the idles are 34 Celsius, so the max of 89 Celsius. Blender Classroom, the idles were 34 Celsius, for the max of 88. Blender Pavilion, the idles were 34 Celsius, for the max of 89. And 3D Mark CPU Test, the idles are 34 Celsius, for the max of 75. The CPU I used is my AMD Ryzen 9 7900, which is AM5 platform. And the CPU hit 200 watts during the tests. Right then, guys, what did you think? Now, what I'm going to tell you is that this air cooler is brand new from Noctua. It's got a different cold plate compared to the previous one. It's a lot, a lot larger. It's got eight heat pipes instead of six. And, of course, it's got their brand new up-to-date Gen 2 fans. These are a lot different compared to the original NHD15. And what I will tell you, I like the overall design. And of course, the clips are also different. Well, there, as you can see, the clips are overall different. 
like I said, the overall clips are different. It's actually a large air cooler. This isn't the faint of heart. This is a monster. It's an absolute beast. But when it comes to the overall mounting system, it does use a torque, Torx type screw head. So it obviously it is included within the overall um, accessories. So at least you wouldn't have to worry about finding one of those. But this is what I mean by the cold plate. Look at the size of that. That is absolutely huge. That's bigger than AM5 and that's bigger than LGA CPUs. It's definitely bigger, but that's because of the extra heat pipes. That's just more surface area, so it will help with dissipating heat. Now, not to a don't use the TDP rating. They have their own not to a rating, which they don't use TDP. If you would like to know about more about the overall rating when it comes to Noctua, I will make sure to leave that link down below because they don't use the TDP that CPU makers make where the 7900 rated at 65 out of the box. So that's where Noctua is different. They don't go by those ratings. They go by their own in-house testing. If you want to know about Intel, then don't ask me because I haven't got an Intel system here, so I didn't have a chance to actually test that if you want to know anything else when it comes to overall intel i will leave the link down below to this specific one and the overall other ones because there is two different ones but i like the overall design now if you have never seen an octua like the standard color in person trust me it looks different in person than it does in a video or a photo so they won me over there when it comes to the overall aesthetics i do love the overall color scheme and the overall cooler, like I said, it's an absolute beast. It's massive. It is huge. It's got new fin design. It's got a bigger co plate. It's got an extra two heat pipes. The fans are also, they're new generation fans. So it, there's a lot to like about this cooler. But of course, if you want the best, the top dog cooler, then of course, Noctua is one of them brands. Now, if you wish to buy this, I'm not going to tell you to buy it. I'm not going to tell you do buy it or don't. But I will leave links down below to scan as well as overclockers and Amazon. Go check it out. Have a feel. It is around the £130 mark on Amazon. So, yes, it's not cheap. But what do you get for the best out there? Well, you've got to pay for it because the overall quality is certainly there. The design, the overall differences when it comes to the original nhd 15 and this this is definitely the more updated better version so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe because i've got so much stuff coming i've got monitors coming from target i've got loads of other types of stuff i've also reached out to io neo to see if i get a handheld computer here so i can show you guys and have a go myself hopefully they'll uh, send me something but that's if not that's fine but yeah i hope you have a fantastic uh, weekend and we get ahead of you this is richard from Wildstech. good bye